So this week I put on some serious heat and some fragrances you may have never heard of. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content. So you already know what to do. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. But that's right, another week, another weekly fragrance rotation. Keeping this series consistent, dropping every single Monday. So I expect to see you guys here every week to tune in and see what I'm wearing and see what you guys are wearing as well. But during this week guys, like I said in the intro, I put out some heat and we also had a heat wave during this entire week. So let's just get right into Sunday. So jumping into Sunday, I pulled out a fragrance that some of you guys may have never heard of, but you definitely should know about this one, especially for the summertime because this stuff is a banger and it is Fleur's Tangerine Boy. My favorite from the entire Fleur line, guys. This is a special fragrance, especially for those like orange, mandarin, tangerine lovers out there. You have to get your nose on this fragrance, guys. It's so juicy. It literally smells like something you could just drink even though do not do that but that's just how vibrant and realistic this fragrance smells perfect for the high heat on that day though it was in the low 80s kind of cloudy that i remember i did do h sprays of tangerine boy and for being a fresh you like this one it performed fairly well if you are interested in this one a little bit more i will be dropping my review on tangerine boy very very soon but on that day though got no compliments it wasn't really around that many people but man, I love this stuff so much. So for Monday, which happened to be Memorial Day, so I hope you guys all enjoyed your holiday. On that day though, it was in the high 80s, a nice sunny day as well. And I've been testing these Louis Vuitton clones from Alexandria Fragrances. And the one I happened to pull out on Monday is Love on the Beach. By that name, you already know this is kind of inspired by On the Beach by Louis Vuitton, which is one of my favorites from the California collection. Not my favorite though, but it is very good. It's like an aromatic, fresh fragrance with this like sort of gritty sand note, which stands out so much. I haven't really smelled anything quite like it. And when I got these in the mail, I sprayed them on without even looking at the bottles. And right away I was like, yeah, that is cloning on the beach and it's doing it very, very well. I swear, Alexander fragrances do not miss with their creations, guys. These things are almost so spot on to the original creations at a fraction of the price. Of course, Louis Vuittons are so expensive, $300 plus, but you can get these for like under $60 depending on the size. So you really can't go wrong with that. However, on that day, I only did three sprays of Love on the Beach just to kind of get a nice wearing from it and kind of test the fragrance for my upcoming comparison video of Alexandria's and the Louis Vuitton. So stay tuned for that. But Love on the Beach is a good interpretation of that fragrance. With even better performance because all of these are actually an extract de parfum, which is the highest of perfume oils in a fragrance, which is always good. And knowing the freshies from Louis Vuitton, especially in the California collection, they don't necessarily perform the best. But on that day, got no compliments. Wasn't really around that many people either. But yeah, that's what I chose for Memorial Day. On Tuesday, it was in the mid 80s. Also a very sunny day outside as well. And I decided to pull out another freshie that I haven't worn in a long time. But unlike the previous day, this one has terrible performance, unfortunately, and that is Jimmy Choo's Man Ice. Now, this fragrance literally smells like a refreshing lemonade for about five minutes. Now, nah, I'm joking, not five minutes, but it definitely lacks in the performance category. Even though this fragrance is so refreshing, so vibrant, so crisp, so clean, I just wish it performed a little bit better. However, on that day, I actually did do eight sprays of Jimmy Choo Ice, got no compliments. During my fragrance journey, maybe like three years ago, this was actually my first fragrance that I bought for the summertime. I wanted something fresh, so I got Jimmy Choo Man Ice. I absolutely loved it. Wore it quite a bit during the, that year of summer and haven't reached for it much since until that day. And I love this fragrance. It smells so good, especially for the price you can get it at. But this is something you're going to have to overspray. So Wednesday was also in the mid 80s and sunny. It's been sunny like all week long. Very nice weather. Finally, I've been waiting for this. But on that day, I actually did pull out another clone of an original fragrance that I do not own. And that is Dua's Enter the Tiger. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Tiger DNA. Of course, you have Tiger, you have Vibrato, you have Lamentate. 
I love this DNA. It's probably my favorite DNA ever. And I have to get a bottle in my collection of the original that started this whole DNA of genre. And that is of course, Bulgari's Tigar. However, Dua's interpretation of it is spot on. I have actually smelled Tigar a couple times, have worn it from a decant. But whenever I want to wear Tigar, this stuff has been perfect for me. It definitely fits that void with great performance. And on that day, I did do eight sprays of Enter the Tiger, no compliments, even though in the past, people love this one. So if you're watching this, you are on a budget, you don't want to spend a lot of money, and you just want something that performs and will get you compliments, man, I could not recommend Enter the Tiger enough. This stuff is absolutely incredible. Even though another Tiger clone that is great is Alexandria's Black Panther. This one is phenomenal as well. You really cannot go wrong with both of them. They are very, very similar with slight differences. Who knows, if you guys are interested, maybe I'll do a comparison video of like these two and even the original Tiger when I get a bottle. But like I said, if you're on a budget, just get any of the Tiger clones and you'll be set. So heading into Thursday, I put out a hidden gem that I have hyped up quite a bit, especially in my review. And it's come from Amor Oud and that is Smoky Citrus. This one, not a lot of people know about, but they should because if you love smoky fragrances, you love citrus fragrances, combine those together, you get this fragrance, of course, hence that name. It, to me, it literally smells like a smoked lemon, especially in the top. It kind of is in the same realm as Aventus, but don't get that twisted. It's not a clone of Aventus at all. It just has a slight similar DNA to it, but this is its own unique creation. It just kind of going based off of that DNA and branching off that day though it was in the high 80s it was sunny of course as well i did spray this one eight times on that day and that's usually my regular spray routine is about eight regardless of what i'm wearing if i'm wearing something that's heavy on oud or if i'm wearing something that's clean and crisp and citrusy i usually go eight sprays most of the time sometimes more if it's a weak performer but that's what i like to stick to and a lot of you guys might think that's over spraying because i know some of you that watch me and follow me only spray like two sprays, three sprays, max five sprays. And I just think that is not enough, guys. You need to spray this stuff more. You need to be known. You need to have everyone around you smell you. Of course, there is circumstances where you don't want that. Maybe on a date night, you want your date to come closer or if you're working in a close environment with other people in an office. However, most of the time, definitely up your sprays. Come on, just do it. Well, Friday was actually the warmest day of the entire week in the low 90s. Also very, very sunny outside. And I put out the only freshie or sort of a freshie from Tom Ford in my entire collection, which I just remembered that when I actually wore that on that day, I was like, this is the only freshie I have from Tom Ford, which is crazy. And that is of course, Tom Ford's Costa Azura. And this is the EDP of course, in the signature line bottle, just like Beau de Jour Ombre Leather. But with Costa Azura, I actually really enjoy this one. I wouldn't really say it's my favorite Tom Ford by any means, but it's very, very pleasant. It has a nice kind of aromatic top, very citrusy, very fresh, but it also has a dry wood kind of base in here. Very, very woody as well. I only did four sprays of this one. Didn't really do much on that day, but whenever I wear this one, it literally reminds me of like a vacation. That's what it smells like. Being at a like luxurious resort or something like that in a tropical environment, very, very wealthy smelling. So if you want something like that, definitely check out Costa Azura, especially at the price you can get these signature bottles in. So wrapping the week off on Saturday, it was in the high 80s, also sunny, and I decided to pull out the king's little brother, or the prince, if you want to call it that, and that is Creed Aventus Cologne. Now, I love Aventus Cologne, especially for the spring and summertime. Of course, I love the original Aventus that's still the king of niche fragrances, in my opinion. However, if you own both of them, I wear this one in the fall and winter. This one's strictly in the spring and summer, so you can kind of like rotate them. On that day though, I did do four sprays of Aventus Cologne, no compliments, but if you're looking for a fresher take of Aventus that still has that DNA, it's Aventus, it's recognizable, of course. It kind of replaces that pineapple with a mandarin note. It's of course not as smoky or anything like that as the OG, but still a phenomenal fragrance. And my batch is actually the first batch, the original batch of Aventus Cologne back in, I think, 2018 or 2019. A 19N01 is the batch for you batch lovers out there, even though I don't think Aventus Cologne really has that many batch variations, but this one's so good. And this actually has some good performance to it as well. But that's going to do it for my weekly fragrance rotation. As always, leave a like on the video. Let me know down below what fragrance you guys chose to wear throughout the week. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all of you back here in my next video. Take care, everybody.